patient people. And the unfortunate factor is that there's billions of people, literally billions that want to come in. Not everybody can come in at once, otherwise we don't have a country anymore. So I, can I, I got to ask, I want to hear your, I didn't want to interrupt you, so you all no, finish. No, no, Do you guys have doors on your homes? Yes, I actually just want but to. But I got to follow up this, just, just, just hear me out. You have doors on your homes and you lock them at night, don't you? You, you secure your home at night to be secure because it's a dark, there are dark people out there like he mentioned and that's the same thing we have to do as a country we have to respect that it's a, there are dark elements in the world and we have to protect ourselves go ahead thank you I was just going to say that like this country isn't like our private property and all that I think that's where the main differentiation is is like where we come in and like the United States is just like it's our domicile and I have like my couch and my TV over here but it is yes like, it is it's the, it's American territory on American well, I just I don't, I don't like thinking about it in terms of like private property like land is not a private commodity sure it really. is. I People, mean we made it into a private commodity like under like and, 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 okay so but, what would you prefer can we sit down? Um, were you, I thought really you, y'all were like playing on We're thinking about going, but you're bringing okay. up a great point. Let's, okay. I'd really like to hear your thoughts. Well, I actually had another question. Like, like, and, and, are those two, like, how did, how did you all meet, like, before? I, I'll answer that, but I want to hear about your private, about your property statements. I'm really curious. Because you're the first person who's actually, like, been willing to explain stuff to me. Uh, uh, your views on this. Well, I mean, for the first thing, it's like... So you don't believe in private property? No, I do. I do. I okay. think, like, because it's like we're, we're at a stage in Lake Capital somewhere. It's like, you know, we can't just suddenly, yeah, like... You think you should get back? Do you guys want to stay? Me and him get back? Okay, give them a report. We're safe. They didn't hurt us. They just blocked us from seeing the event. You okay. can show them the video. Okay. Well, I gotta stick with him. You're gonna be on your own, buddy. I'll be fine. Okay. No, I know. I, know I you're trust gonna be him. Fine, but I just want you to know sure? where you're at. Okay, okay, give me about 10, 15 minutes. Okay. So okay. I'm, I'm giving you guys a time limit because I'm sure you got other things you want to do. Please do. Because you'll need them when you go and represent. Okay, so 15 minutes, uh, and maybe we'll shorten it so that you can go to other activities. So really quickly, so you believe in private property, but land doesn't fall into that category. Did you know that no Native American... Well, I just want him to answer. And then if you... Had a word for private property? Well, yeah. Property? I mean, it's like, when, when did this... When did this how and why or this is a question for you maybe as, like, oh, okay this is what you want to ask me response and all that it's just like it's like when did like american land become like american land like what, what makes mm -hmm. american land american land that's a great question this country was founded as a lot of this was for lack of a better word virgin territory um i know that when you had the pilgrims and then there was i think 1607 there was the jamestown mm -hmm. roanoke was a disaster 1500s i think they actually assimilated into the local communities the roanoke community in south carolina community? yeah uh, so, like because you say virgin, what do you mean by virgin? Virgin that nobody lived there. Oh, Native Americans totally lived there. No, they didn't live everywhere. There was a lot of land that was arable and unused. So yeah, that's the first they, thing. They maybe didn't have like. And there were certain tribes that actually there. traded. There were certain that Iroquois. They had five nations. They had a clear political structure. Yeah, like um, like several hundred years later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's correct. And uh, um, I, I would have to submit to you though that the the culture you see coming out of the West, which respects men and women as individuals. Um, I remember, I, I, I hope I'm not going into something that's mythical, but there was one group of settlers, Squanto was already there in, the, in that region, I think it was in Massachusetts, what it's called now, and he even greeted them in English. He had been all over the world himself. Yeah, he, had, he had met like, all these people, established colonies, and, he, and And there were the, the local inhabitants who helped, Wampanoag I think is one group, they helped the pilgrims, so they were established. Yeah. They, the, the Thanksgiving dinner was a real thing. And let me tell you... Um, it's like a three day festival. Yeah, three days, and with family. And also, the, this concept of private ownership allows everybody to prosper. The, the pilgrims tried a socialist contract. You can read it in Bradford's Chronicles. Oh, okay. And they starved. 60% of the original settlement died. But then the native populations taught them how to raise crops. Sir, I think I'm correct. They were farmers, too, don't forget. So they, they were agricultural people when they came here. They were fleeing for religious liberty. Uh, and uh, they cooperated with the native populations. Keep also in mind that there were native groups that were attacking each other fiercely. There was yep. the Pequot War of New England. There are historians who don't even know native about this Americans stuff. Native Americans aren't all like one homogenous group. Exactly. Yep. And there's some that believe in private property and some that don't, actually. But I would submit to you that this country has great wealth and worth because of private ownership yep. of property. Yep. And that's why I agree with it. And you have Native Americans, and I mean that in the sense of yep. indigenous, for lack of a better term, yep. uh, aboriginal, if you will. Um, they own property, yeah. and many of them wanted to thrive in peace. The Constitution recognizes tribes as separate nations. Yeah. So, have you heard the term like property rights framework? I think you were kind of. That's what you're sort of like. Tell me about what you. Tell me about that. Well, the property rights framework is essentially is just that it's like the U.S. was founded on this idea that like an assigning inherent value to like land 
you know. Certainly. And, like, all that. Like, and Native, Native Americans like, did that too, by the way. I apologize. Yeah, I interrupted yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it's like it differed like greatly in how like um, like early like mercantilist economies and all that. You like necessarily like it was more about like the goods and the trade and the flows. Of mercantilism capital. is a government interventionist system, by the way. That it's supposed okay. to. It's an imperial I system. Make, I wasn't making an argument for like whether or not. Oh, was, to like, support it. Okay. Yeah. It, it is distinct from free market capitalism. I want to yeah, make that very clear. Definitely, it is very much. Okay. So do you feel that this land has been stolen in some respect? Is that their argument? I definitely feel that it wasn't like necessarily like fairly assigned like, you know, because when we say it's like it's private property that like this land belongs to somebody, it's like it wasn't given to settlers by Native Americans. You know, A lot obviously. of it was just plain settled because there's no one else there. Um, we I didn't have like the legal like systems and codes to necessarily say like this is what private property is, this is what isn't proper private that property. That had to be developed as more people came. And that developed like after the land was already taken. I don't agree with that. I think it depends on different situations. Um, I'm not trying to be flippant. Um, there, the, the Manhattan, I, I'm, I know I'm getting, I don't know the tribe names, but the Manhattan, there was a um, farmer, I think it was a farmer from Denmark actually, I just want to make sure I'm recording. Farmer from Denmark, his name was Bronx or Bronke, I believe. Uh, and so they were able to trade. I think they trade with the wrong tribe, and that's what created problems. But there was a concept of ownership, nonetheless. So there's that. Uh, let's not forget that there was assimilation among Indians and Americans. That happened as well. Uh, the Cherokee Nation, they adopted Western customs. They chose to. Often out uh, of necessity and survival. Because I, it's like they wouldn't have been able to make But they also had a script. They were able to become literate. Um, writing is so crucial to developing of cultures. They did uh, have their own and, of and I'm operating. Yeah, they did. I, and he, the gentleman, uh, I don't remember what his Sequoia. name is. Sequoia. Thank you. He had a he had a great picture. His daughter was six. So, there you go. His daughter was six years old, and she came up with a, a written form of language. It's so, so cool. Yeah. But I would have to submit to you that I think that, and I am going to recognize a, a a religious bent where a Judeo Christian culture and Judeo Christian values have allowed everybody to thrive. In a lot of other cultures, human lives are, de are diminished or devalued. We see private property not respected. It, it diminishes our life. It diminishes our, it diminishes our culture and our society. I have a question. Um, we're Judeo-Christian culture. What religion do you practice? Um, I'm actually agnostic. Yeah. You're a what? Agnostic. Okay, you don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't particularly align. With that's what I, I'm just telling you that's what agnostic means. Okay. Yes. And I'm Zen Buddhist and agnostic and <laughs> how can and, you be both well because zen buddhism is more it's of a deities it's more of a traditional line of values than about you, deities yeah. and now we're getting to a fundamental question and this comes to not just that beliefs but truth where did we originate from how did we get here and the more that we can articulate those ideas better then a lot of these conflicts start to phase out the first the first uh, universities were same, seminaries right? For example, they were seminaries. Harvard, Yale, and Princeton were seminaries. At the same time, I'm sorry. So I'm just telling both of you that that was an announcement. But you had a question, though, sorry. Oh, oh no, yeah, you're totally right. Universe, Western universities here were And I think Western the culture is the best. I really do. Because it enhances the quality of life for men, women, and children. Sure Even if that. we don't share values, you don't get killed by me if we don't agree. And Hindus right now are attacking Christians in their country, too. So it's not just Muslims. For being Hindus here. I'm sorry? Hindus are being killed for being But it's not here. government policy. And it's not in line with the values of our country. So, um, I remember... I'm glad that you believe that. I'm, I'm really, really, really... You're really making a distinction also between, like, how government policies influence, like, state uh, sanctioned murder, correct? Like, and I think, like, when we... Sorry, I'm going to circle back to the refugee thing again. I think a lot That's of fine. Muslim folks who are fleeing Muslim countries are escaping from violence that their state is inflicting upon them as well. And it's not just the state, though. It is the religion. If you look at the Quran, and I've studied, I've learned from it. I haven't read the whole thing, but I've read enough parts of it. And to recognize abrogation, there's an old Quran, there's a new Quran, uh, there, there's new, there's abrogation, old verses are pushed out. If you're a Jew, you're considered an enemy. Um, 